Let's write the name for MgC2H3O2 2. We could also write this like this here. It's the same thing. This is the acetate ion here, and this is just another way to write the acetate ion. So let's write the name using the formula on top. So since we have magnesium, that's a metal, and then this acetate ion, C2H3O2, that's a group of nonmetals. Metal, nonmetals, this is an ionic compound. So first, we write the name for Mg as it appears on the periodic table. That's just magnesium. Next, we write the name for the polyatomic ion here. This is the acetate ion, lowercase a. And you've either memorized that this is the acetate ion, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. So the name for MgC2H3O22 is magnesium acetate. And again, we could also write it this way here. We have magnesium, then we have the acetate ion here. If you're given the name and asked to write the formula, magnesium, that's 2 plus. The whole acetate ion, that's 1 minus. So we need two acetate ions for these charges to balance out. This is Dr. B with the name for MgC2H3O22, magnesium acetate. Thanks for watching.